Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, um, Life According to Mini. I thought today I'd do a short video on, I promise to try and keep it short, on my skincare routine in the morning. So this is what I currently use. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about my skin at the moment. Um, I grew up suffering with um, really awful eczema as a child and into my late 20s. Um, in my 30s I had the most wonderful skin and uh, it was just the best time of my life to be honest skin wise. I was so happy and then in my early 40s I started the perimenopause and developed hormonal acne um, which uh, it's just it's just been awful to be honest so I had a lot of open pores on my on my face and um, spots um, just the usual and it, and it it really does get you down um, you do your makeup so nice and then within 10 minutes it's like it's got shine it's greasy it sits in the pores so not only are you dealing with pores you're also developing wrinkles so it's sitting in the wrinkles you've got wrinkles pores acne um and it it does get you down i am on currently on medication i take um a tablet uh limocycline i think it's called i used to be in oxytetracycline um, I used to take one of those every morning but now I'm on limocycline which I think is a little bit stronger um, I think my skin just got used to the oxytetracycline so I changed <laughs> and I also use um, it's kind of a retin-a but it's different gel um, which is prescribed by the doctor um, sorry for an itchy nose <laughs> Um, which can cause dryness on your face whilst using it which then makes your wrinkles stand out more because your face is dry and peeling but in the long run it's going to do my skin good so it's persevering a little bit with that and to be honest I just do what I can for my skin um, I try not to get down about it however it does get me down and it's it's really odd isn't it because if it was something on your body you wouldn't be so bothered because you can cover it up but with your face it's yes we can use makeup and I think we are lucky in that sense but um I'm so I get so paranoid about my skin and how it looks and you know through the day if I'm talking to people I think oh my god all they're looking at is my um, flaws on my face and oh they're looking at that they've noticed oh my god oh my god so yeah yeah <laughs> it does affect you and I, I'm really self-conscious about it I'm quite a confident person but when it comes to that I, I it does affect me um, I've just always wanted nice skin um, so yeah my thirties were great <laughs> anyway back to my skincare routine so in the morning I um, wet my face um, with lukewarm water and I use the Neutrogena face wash um, it's the visibly clear spot proofing daily wash um, that's what I use and they claim it works with your skin to help clear spots and defend against new breakouts um, this contains 2% salicylic acid salicylic acid doesn't sound right now um, I'm sure it's that the writing I mean who who even if you had like a super pilot vision you wouldn't be able to read that it's ridiculous is it salicylic acid or am I, am I saying it completely wrong um anyway i will find out so 
Yeah, I'm sure it is. I can't read. I literally can't read it, even though I have my my glasses on. I can't read it. Um, I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm just trying to see because I don't want to be telling you the wrong thing. It sounds right, but it doesn't sound right at the same time. Anyway, I use that. I leave it on my face, um, just for depending how how many breakouts I've got at the time. If I've got quite a bad breakout, then I leave it on for a couple of minutes and just let it soak into my skin, and it, you know it, it's doing something. Then um, I then rinse that off really well because you shouldn't leave that on your face at all. I rinse that off. Oh, and by the way, it can. I was using this one for a while. I was using the green version, and I think they do a pink version as well. And literally, sorry, I'm looking at the uh, screen, my little screen again. Literally, there's no difference between the three. They've got all the same ingredients. They're just different colours. So um, they did repackage the orange one recently. Hence why I bought the green because they were saying it was discontinued, but they just did a whole repackaging. And it does smell slightly different. That's the only thing I'd say. Um, and I don't know why, because I can't read it. <laughs> I could go online and check the ingredients, but anyway, um, don't worry about which one if you want to try it. They're all the same. They all contain the same 2% salicylic acid. So, um, yeah, let's give it a go in this pink one. I haven't tried the pink one though, so I can't recommend it. Um, so yeah, so I've rinsed that off. I then, whilst my face is still wet, I go in with the Neutrogena. Is that going to focus? There we go. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I know they do a water gel one as well, there's the water gel and there's the gel cream but I do prefer the gel cream and I literally put that onto my wet face and that seals in the moisture that's been lost from washing your face really. Um, so yeah, it gives your skin a really good um, moisture boost. Like I say, the um, Differing gel I'm using does dry out my face and it can get quite peely. You know, like when you've got a, a sunburn, shush, we shouldn't get sunburn, but if you have ever got a sunburn and your skin peels, it's a bit like that. So, yeah, I'm fighting with that again as well at the moment. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair. Um, so, yeah, so I put that on. It just looks like that. It's just a white cream. It's lovely. And all the, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost products smell the same. Really nice. Um, and I think that, yeah, that contains hyaluronic acid, which is good. Um, so I use that. I then follow it up. Don't dry my face. I don't do anything. I'm just letting it dry naturally. It's taken in the products that I'm putting on it. And I then go in with this Neutrogena. You might see a bit of a theme here. I like Neutrogena. I don't think you can go wrong. All these fancy pants um, products with perfumes. You know, I mean, I love, I love Estee Lauder and I love all those products for makeup. But when it comes to skincare, these beauty brands are just selling you something that's full of perfume, full of alcohol, and not good for your skin. And they claim so much, which I'll go, go through with you in a minute. But anyway, so yeah, I'll follow it up with that. And that is the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Spot Proofing Oil Free Moisturiser. And I put that on the top. Um, I also sometimes, if I don't use that, I use this. But there's only only about a third left. And this is Origins UK. And I got this little um, sample in my beauty advent calendar last year, last December. 
and oh, it is so lovely. I really like it and I think I might, when this runs out, I might purchase this from Origins. Um, it's really, it feels so nice on the skin, really moisturising. Um, it's their ginseng energy boosting moisturiser and it's, it's just, it just feels great. It really feels great on the skin. So I use one of those after. Um, and then I use, not every day, sometimes I do forget, so, um, and that's my age, it's my memory, you know, you might forget something, you know when you carry on doing every, your routine of everything and then you can get so funny, oh, I forgot to do that, I forgot to do that, so, um, yeah, sometimes I do forget to do this, but it's the only one I do, um, and this is the Ordinary um, Argeline, Argeline Solution, um, 10% that is, Argeline Solution, 10%, just getting it to focus, is that focus, there we go, so, that's what I put on, and I literally, just a few drops, and I, I only put that on my forehead area and eyebrows and a little bit under my eyes and they they have claimed that that is like a Botox in a bottle and it is good it is really good and it does have like a, a freezing effect to you to your skin um I really like it but it doesn't go as deep as Botox if you know what I mean so it's just on the surface um but it's supposed to be good using it long term so that's what i use is that and then the most important thing comes next and that is my factor 50 um i always always wear an spf factor 50 on my face and that is the only thing that is anti-aging that you can buy. All these fancy pants products that claim anti-aging, um, no. Once the damage is done, it's done from the sun. <laughs> and the only way you can anti-age is by wearing an SPF every single day. Sorry, I'm looking at my screen again. Every single day. I wear this in the winter, summer, um, yeah, so I put that on next and reapply it if um, throughout the day. Obviously it, it is difficult, but if I'm wearing heavy makeup it's usually because I'm in the office or um, I've gone out for the day, but it's quite rare, so if I'm just pottering around the house if I'm just, and even if I'm in all day working at home, um, I still put it on because you're still getting UV A through through the windows. You're still getting that light. The light is what is damaging your skin. So um, I still put it on every single morning without fail after I've done my skincare. And yeah, it's quite thick and chalky, but it does sink in and it's fine and i found for me this one by um aven is just oh, it's just wonderful it really is lovely and i really like that and this little tube because it's only for your face it lasts so long and it's so worth the money it really is um so yeah that's my fact 50. now if i'm not going out say I'm not going to the office so I'm not going to put heavy makeup on the top um, if I'm just sort of going to the gym or pop into the shops or you know just pop in here and there I'm not doing heavy makeup I use this um, by Dr Jart it's um, a BB beauty balm and this is also SPF 30 so I'm, I'm getting more 
protection from the sun using this and this has just got a slight color and I put that on the top because it will it will help with taking away the whiteness of the sun cream so putting that on top just to show you a little bit on my hand I need to get another one soon so yeah it's just so it just gives a little bit of shine and colour. Um, so yeah, if I'm going to the gym or anything, I'll just put that on. It's got a really good coverage actually um, for your skin. If you've got any blemishes or acne prone skin, I do really like it. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's what I put on top. And that feels lovely. And that is Dr. Jart BB cream with SPF 30. So I've got my SPF 50 and now 30. If I'm wearing a foundation I, I do tend to try and get a foundation that is a, a 30 as well um, to protect my skin as much as I can. Um, I know I've got lines, I've got wrinkles on lines um, but I just think you know in the last in the last year really I started to really become um, not obsessed but just more careful with my skin and using an SPF every day rather than not. I used to be a bit of a sun worshipper so the damage is done but I'm going to stop any more damage. So if you're young, you've got lovely skin and you don't think you need to use an SPF then if you don't want wrinkles when you're older you slap that SPF on your face every day and I promise you, you're going to have wonderful skin when you're older. You won't look like me. <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose I don't look too bad for a nana. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, so that's what I do every morning um, with my skin. Um, and then I have a different routine for an evening, which I'll do a separate video on. Um, thank you for joining me please like my video, hit subscribe and um, click on the little bell and then you'll get a notification if I do upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.